Although there was a time where powering your graphics card was really easy. You would just plug it into your motherboard, that would supply 75 watts of power to it, and that would often be enough. But as they got more powerful, you needed to plug in a PCI Express cable into your power supply unit, and then another into your graphics card. But somewhere along the line, they got even more powerful, and PCI Express cables come with this horrible pigtail connector. And in some cases, like with my mid-range RX 6700 XT graphics card, it actually has two slots for PCI Express connectors. So you might be thinking you can just plug a PCI Express cable in to your power supply unit, and then use this pigtail connector, or I call it devil spawn connector, to actually plug into your graphics card. The problem with that logic is that the cables that come with cheaper power supply units might only support 150 watts of power, whether you use the pigtail connector or not. And that's a flaw because if your graphics card needs 250 watts of power, that simply won't be enough, meaning you then have to run a separate cable to it. But then that begs the question, what's the actual point of the pigtail connector? Why has this ever existed? Well, the answer to that question is that this PCI Express cable started coming out around two decades ago. And in that time, there's been lots of different PCI Express cards. You could have had sound cards, capture cards, networking cards, and loads of other different types of cards. And let's say they require 150 watts of power and you have two of them. Well, the motherboard will give 75 watts of power, meaning they need an extra 75 watts of power. And that's where these pigtail connectors are actually really useful because assuming your graphics card is powered separately, you can just get a single cable, plug it into your power supply unit, and then one of these ends goes into one of your PCI Express cards and the other end goes into your other PCI Express card. And that actually fulfills their power requirements. And that wraps up this short video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click the thumbs up button and please subscribe to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching.